and welcome back to the peaceful world as you can see nothing has changed well today things will change and i never have work to do so so as i said in the last episode in today's episode we're going to do the iron farm with no mobs now you're going to ask me ellie how's that possible well it is and i'm going to use a tutorial which i'm going to have done the link in the description as always so what we're going to need is five stacks and a little bit of something of leaves 60 stone walls five beds five slabs four signs three hoppers two chests and one bucket and i don't have anything of this well except probably for the stone walls yeah i can make the stone walls and uh, the slabs but everything else i oh i do have the bucket and i do have the sears but i don't have the hoppers and the chests and the signs and everything else <laughs> well we do have a lot of work we do so in this episode i'm going to do a little bit of mining to get enough iron for the three hoppers so or i could just kill that iron golem over there but yeah i mean i do need iron since uh, this uh place here doesn't work for iron at all like at all there is no iron around here i'll have to go away so there's a lot of work to do and i still be back in a few minutes when i have gathered everything a few minutes for a few seconds for you a few hours second minutes for me so let's go and as you can see everything is gathered up enough and and we'll have a little bit more leaves than needed, but leaves can be... Mistakes can happen, so it's better to have more than less. So, now we have everything that we need, and it's time for me to pick up spot and build the iron farm. So, enjoy! here it works perfectly which means now we don't have enough iron or well free iron in um well you know peaceful because the caves here are horrible which means no iron so it's yeah terrible and um yeah this iron farm is very simple to make the story will be down below in the description now i'm going to sit here and navigate well, yeah, I do. Ooh, see, it works. And yeah, I don't need to sit here and up a lot because I'm doing the fire and for the next farm, which is going to be the sim farm. And here we are, back again. As you can see, the iron farm is here, 
and our design is working perf perfectly. Also, the one downside is I think it's only working during daytime. So what I need to do is go and sleep. But it's working perfectly and we produce a lot of iron. What I want to do now, before ending this episode, is actually make a path, make it clearer here that leads to the iron farm. Because let's be honest, it sucks. And also, I'm also going to start working on the portal and as well as the enchanting table, which I'm also going to need. Okay, I almost died like this. And this is how you die peaceful. And so we're going to need the water because there is a lava pool nearby and I'm going to need it. I'm also going to need to make an automatic uh, lava farm. The house looks fantastic from here. And I need all the flora farming as well. So I do have a lot of work to do. And uh, here we are, the farm. The filter breeder is working as you can see. There's one villager down. We need a little bit more before making the trading hall, which I'm going to do on the next episode. But in this episode, I just uh, want to focus only in uh, villagers. I'm just getting the obsidian because I do want to have the enchanting table down as a challenge. There we go, it's ready. We have enough obsidian for all our needs. And yeah, I can make another portal somewhere. I also do have an idea for the breeder. Actually, the trading hall. Thinking of making it underneath here somewhere. Probably not, but I do want to use this path. We'll figure it out. But. For now, I'm going to make a, si a shovel, so I can make the bath easier. I'm going to take this, seven, we're going to keep two. So we're taking this and also I'm going to make a helmet, like so. Cover me in diamonds and boom, diamond helmet. I look fancy now. Okay, so what I'm going to be needing is sticks. Two sticks. And we're keeping the two diamonds for the enchanting table. And how full diamond tools? Let's go. Lots of terraforming to do. Lots of terraforming to do. And lots of building as well. Who doesn't love building? I know I do. All right, so let's see what we need to terraform. First of all, the street goes down. And... What level are we? 77. And the farm is on layer. Let's go and see. Oh, whoops. I accidentally used Recon. What layer am I? 72? Oh boy, this is going to be a lot. Oh no. This is going to be fine. Good thing I made a diamond puzzle. I'm going to need netherite tool soon. This is why I made the portal. Or well, have enough obsidian for the portal. But anyways, let's start the terraform.
On the bright side, the iron farm is working perfectly as well. So as you can see, where is the chest? We have already one stack. This is perfect. And I'm back. Almost complete the path. Well, I spoke like the other. Almost complete the path is. <laughs> well, I do need a little bit more stone to be smelted for the walls. And also, I did turn up from the area a little bit. And made sure it's symmetrical here. I do have a few ideas that I'm going to complete in the next few episodes. Like adding some. Uh, pillars here to light up the area and make the staircase a little bit more fancy because right now it's very simple and I don't like simple stuff in building well I don't like them in certain stuff but not uh, in mid game that we're getting into the iron farm is working perfectly I'm going to show you how much iron it has uh, produced so we are on day 40 I started this episode on day... What day was it? Uh, I think it was like day 20. So it's been 20 days since this episode started in Minecraft. Well, I did a lot of stuff. Not a lot in the terms of uh, farms, but this is the path. It looks really nice and now we're going to complete it. It's simple but nice. I'm thinking of adding a railway that leads all the way to the farm which I'm going to show you right now but let's complete the walls here first the walls of doom and the path is finally complete I don't need to make the entrance so a little bit fancier I don't have an idea to make it like a hobbit hole and this is the iron farm as you know it works perfectly but unfortunately it has to be day and this is the iron it has produced so far we will never run out of iron again, and honestly, I'm very happy about it. Plus, free dye, as you can see. I mean, who doesn't love free dye? Free red dye. So... Yeah. Farm number one is done. On the next episode, I'm going to work on an automatic furnace. Uh, storage, I'll try to start working on it. And also a sugarcane farm because I do need sugarcane for a setting table. Also, I did merge a little bit on the nether, but don't worry, I didn't do much, I just wanted some quartz. And uh, yeah, the nether is pretty safe for now, so we'll do it on the next episode. Alright, so I'm making this episode around here. I did quite a few stuff here, so yeah. I'm Zoli, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!